Greeted like a rock star by his fans, the rebel leader known only as Subcomandante Marcos arrived in Oaxaca State on the third day of the Zapa tour. The tour of peace aims at finally ending the seven-year-old conflict in Chiapas State. But Marcos made clear to supporters that the struggle is not yet over. They believe, those who are powerful and who deceive us, and will have us to believe something new. But they have nothing different in their thoughts nor their methods that they have used for almost five centuries, trying to exterminate us, waging their war of destruction in the name of civilization. Security is tight after the Zapatistas received the second death threat in as many days. Marcos and his entourage left their home state of Chiapas on Sunday on a two-week trip by bus, slowly heading to the capital, Mexico City. They're accompanied by hundreds of journalists and foreign observers. Top of their agenda is the Indian Rights Bill, one of three conditions Marcos says must be met before they'll renew long-stalled peace talks with the government. As the tour plows on, over 3,500 federal police officers have been posted en route. The death threats are being taken seriously. We don't have any information. We have soldiers posted all along the road to care for the passage of the caravan. Jubilant supporters cheer on, hoping this finally brings peace to Chiapas.